A video collage or video wall is a pretty cool effect if you want to show multiple video streams at once. And if you tried to make a video grid yourself, you'll know how painstakingly manual it is and anything beyond a 2x2 two two video grid will just take too much time. Well today I want to show you guys how you can easily make a video wall in just a few minutes using Adobe After Effects and then you can import it into Premiere. Let's get started. All right, so before we make a wall, we actually need videos to use. If you already have videos that you want to use prepared, then you can skip to the next chapter. But if you don't, then you can follow along with me and I'm gonna download the whole top spec video catalog. So to do this, we're gonna use an application called 4K Video Downloader. And I know the website looks kind of suspicious, but I promise you it's actually a really great tool. I've been using it for many, many years now and it has never failed me. And what's really nice about this particular tool is you can paste in a whole YouTube channel and it will download all the videos for you. Now you do have to pay to get this feature and I know there's products where you don't have to pay to download all of your channel videos, but this tool has always worked well for me and I didn't mind giving them, I think the $15 fee that it costs to download a whole YouTube channel. So if I copy the top spec channel link and I open the 4K video downloader, uh, and I paste to the link in the top left corner, it's gonna search through all of our videos. So the first thing it's gonna do after you paste in a channel is it's gonna parse through each video, see what resolution they are, see how long they are, and then after that, it's gonna give me the option of what I wanna do with them. All right, now that it's finished parsing all of those videos, you can see it's given me the choice of what resolution I wanna download. So if I wanna choose the MKV format, I can go from 4K all the way down to 240p, which I don't know if you wanna do, but if you wanna do that, then go right ahead. You can also choose MP4, and you can go from 1080p 60 FPS all the way down to 240p again. Now what resolution you should choose is kinda gonna depend on how many videos you're gonna have in your video grid. If it's gonna be a two by two video grid where the videos are still fairly pretty big, then you could go with 4K or 1080p. But if you're gonna do a 10 by 10 video grid like I did on the Top Spec Instagram page, then I downloaded them at 720p and I bet I could even get away with 40p because since the videos get so small, downloading them in 1080p and 4K would just waste disk space and make it even harder for my computer to handle. Now I'm not gonna download all the top spec videos because I already did that, but all you'd have to do is hit browse and point it to the folder where you want all the videos to be downloaded and click download. So now that you have all your videos, I recommend using Adobe Media Encoder to convert them all to a mezzanine codec. Something like ProRes or Cineform is gonna make it a lot easier for your computer to make this video grid, play it back, and render it out. So all you'd have to do is drag and drop all your videos into the Media Encoder queue and change it to something like ProRes Lite, ProRes Proxy, or Cineform. As you can see in the folder where I downloaded all of the top spec videos to, down here we have all the MP4 video files, which I believe are 720p. And then up above them, we have our ProRes files, which is just gonna make it a lot easier for my computer to render and play back this footage. All right, so the key component that's gonna make it so easy for us to make this video wall is going to be this plugin Layers to Grid. You can find it by Googling Layers to Grid or going to the link down in the video description. On the right here, you can see you can name your own price. So if you do end up using this plugin a lot, I would totally recommend to donate and maybe give five or $10, but you can certainly put in $0, add it to your cart and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you'll want to go to File, Scripts, and then Install Script File, and navigate it to where the .jsx downloaded. So now that we've got out of that all the way, let's actually make our video wall. So I'm gonna do two demonstrations. I'm gonna do a two by two video grid with four videos, and then I'm gonna do a 10 by 10 video grid with 100 videos. So the first thing we're gonna do is import our video files. And if you transcoded some ProRes files, this is where you would import them. So I'm gonna scroll down to my ProRes files and then just select four random videos. So we don't wanna drag and drop our video files into the composition because then that's just gonna make a 720p composition. Instead, we're gonna create a new composition and I like to make a 4K composition that just makes sure that we have enough resolution to play with. And now we're gonna drag and drop our video files in. 
So even though this method of making a video wall is quite easy, it does involve a little bit of math. So I'm gonna do some drawings on my iPad to show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna draw our video frame here, which is a rectangle. And then since this is a 4K composition, uh, our resolution is 3840 by 2160. Now what we want is a video in each quadrant. So we're gonna cut it up into fourths. And so then you can see from the leftmost part of the frame all the way to the center mark is going to be half of 3840, which is 1920. And from the top of the frame to the middle mark vertically is going to be 1080 pixels. So a 4K video frame is composed of four 1080p video streams. So the first thing we're going to want to do is scale all of our videos so they are 1920 by 1080 since we want four videos. So we can change the scale by selecting all of our sources, hitting S. And then we have to calculate how much we have to scale up the video. So I know I need the width to be 1920 and I know the current width is 1280. So we have to increase it by 150%. So now you can see the video is more appropriately scaled to fit in each quadrant of the frame. So how the layers to grid script works is it will position all of your sources relative to the first source. So if I were to do it right now, all the videos would be placed to the right and to the bottom of our video in the middle right here. So it wouldn't line up perfectly with the frame. So what we have to do is now put our first video source into the top left of the frame. So all we have to do is figure out where we want this center anchor to be. So going back to our drawing, we can see that we have a 1920 by 1080 space in the top left quadrant. And if we want to get the coordinates of the center of this space, then all we have to do is divide that quadrant into two again. So 1920 divided by two is 960, and then 1080 divided by two is 540. So all I have to do is hit P for position on the first video source and change its position to 960 and 540. And now you can see it's in the top left corner. Now this is where the magic happens. We're gonna select all of our video sources, go to file, scripts, and then all the way down to layers to grid. It's gonna pop up, would you like the layers to be arranged by rows left to right? And we're gonna say yes. How many rows? Well, this is a two by two video grid. So we're gonna say two. And then how much space in between the layers? Zero, because we want them to be right up against each other. And there we go. Now, there's this uh, black frame right here, but that's just because it's the start of the video. But as you can see, we have a perfect video grid. Now for a two by two video grid like this, you don't save a whole bunch of time because doing this manually wouldn't be so tough. But if you wanted to do something like a 10 by 10 video grid, then you're in for more of a challenge. So let's do that right now. So I'm gonna import a hundred videos from top spec. These are the same video sources that I used to make the Instagram post. And again, I'm gonna drag them into our 4K composition. So to do our 10 by 10 video grid, let's refer back to the iPad. So if we want 10 videos horizontally and 10 videos vertically, then one video is gonna have one tenth of the frame height and width. So that's easy enough to calculate. One tenth of 3,840 is 384, and one tenth of 2160 is 206. So again, the first thing we have to do is scale our videos properly. So again, the video width I need is 384 pixels. And if we divide that by what we know is the 720p frame, since that's what we downloaded, uh, we can see we need it to be 30% scale. So I'm gonna select all my video sources, hit S and hit 30% scale. So now that our videos are the right scale, let's go back to the iPad and find what our center point has to be. What's nice in After Effects is you can type mathematical expressions right into the text boxes. So we know for our X position, we need 384 divided by two. And then for our Y position, we need 216 divided by two. And now you can see our video is perfectly into the top left corner. So now what we're gonna do is select all of our videos, go to file, scripts, layers to grid, where again, we're gonna say yes. How many rows? Well, this is 10 by 10, so we're gonna say 10, zero pixels in between them, and we now have a 10 by 10 video grid. And even though we have to do a little bit of math, could you imagine doing all of this manually? So now that we have this, you can add it to your render queue to export as a ProRes or Cineform file, or you can save the .aep and drag it into Premiere directly. But again, I don't know how good the live playback is gonna be, because again, these are 100 video streams all at once. 
But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this quick After Effects tutorial, then make sure to leave a like down below, and we will see you guys in our next video.